Let's check back in with KTK meteorologist Braden CO. Braden, what's the, the latest on that Hurricane Milton? So Hurricane Milton is now a very powerful Category 5 hurricane. Maximum sustained winds have increased to 160 miles per hour, and I'll get to that a little bit more here in just a second. But first, let's take a look at our temperatures out here across the area. And across the Lone Star State, they're not too bad out there. 70, 70s up in the Texas Panhandle, and then 80s as you move farther south and east across the area. But as we look at the next seven days for our high temperatures it really does look like our temperatures are going to remain to be above average for the foreseeable future and then we see next sunday we thought we were done with the 90s not quite we've got another one forecasted for next sunday so it may be october but we are not done with these summer like conditions out there and even in the extended range in the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook this is getting even towards the end of october and we're still talking about above average temperatures. So this is just a theme that we've been seeing along with very little in the way of rainfall and we're not expecting any anytime soon. And so what that has done is it's allowed for more burn bans to be issued in a couple of additional counties across the area. It was originally just Henderson County and now we've added Anderson and Houston counties to that. So if you live in those counties, make sure you are not burning anything outdoors and honestly, I wouldn't burn anything outdoors across any of our counties right now because of just how dry things are outside. And with that, we're going to turn our attention to the Gulf of Mexico, where we have a very powerful Hurricane Milton, now a Category 5 winds of 160 miles per hour as of the 11 a.m. advisory, pressure down to 925 millibars. So this is, this is a very powerful hurricane, and it has its size set on the Florida coastline and we'll time this out going forward it does appear to maintain its category 5 strength going forward for the next 24 hours or so and then slowly start to lose some steam as it heads towards the Florida coastline but unfortunately once that happens the storm's going to grow larger meaning it will be able to push a lot more water towards the Florida coast so really the impacts are going to be just as bad if not worse because the hurricane is going to be growing in size as we move forward. So this is just a really bad situation all around for Florida. It's a very dangerous storm and everyone in Florida needs to be prepared and heed evacuation orders if one is issued. Now back home, our highs today will be around 90 degrees, much calmer weather here, mostly sunny skies. Another hot day is in store. And then overnight tonight, we cool things down just a little bit more down into the 50s tonight rather than the 60s like we saw last night. So a cool night and a cool morning as you walk out the door on your Tuesday. And the seven day forecast is just a lot of rinse and repeat going forward where we just have these cool mornings and then we really turn up the heat in the afternoon getting those above average temperatures. And much of the same can be said down in deep east Texas. It's really just the stagnant weather pattern of sunny skies, cool morning lows, and then heating up in the afternoon so doesn't look like much of a change in the weather pattern going forward at least for the next seven days and for more information be sure to visit the website that is ketk.com east texas live david